goal is to try to be on Broadway. I come here because I want to be professional. So I can be a competitive dancer. I danced here as a student and uh, taught here and now I'm a, a parent. Officially a dance mom. I was four years old and we got a postcard. I was going to do hockey, but as soon as I saw that postcard, I just really wanted to do dance. From the time I was three, it was just there. I danced all over the house and mom put me in dancing and then it continued from there and passed on to the sister. And uh, I did teach my sister for quite a few years and then we decided to take our beliefs and our love of dance and create our studio of our own. As a parent, you put children into dance to learn how to dance, but you put them into activities to learn other skills. And that's what we hope that we do here, is give them those skills to leave here and be good people. I feel like it's my job as a teacher of such a beautiful art form to help these kids find out who they are and find their place in the world. Dance kind of means to me like freedom. I get to do whatever I want when I dance and it's kind of like my getaway. Even if like I like emotions inside me that are like I can't say out loud, I can like do it in dancing. You tell a story and the stories can be emotional, they can be sad, they can be happy. You can express your feelings and you can do um, stuff that you can't do with other sports. In a lot of team sports, it's the team environment, but this is the team plus the individual. I like that every person can be themselves when they dance. To show a side of themselves that they don't always know exists until they come to our studio. Listen up, take a chance, you can sing, you can dance, you can live like there's no tomorrow. Every time that you'll find there's a rule, there's a rhyme, move along and the rest will follow. They really have a family base and they really reflect that in how they carry on their business uh, at the dance studio. The teachers here are so fun. It's just like they're a part of my family. Every teacher has their own quality and their own personalities that they bring into the classroom. Some of them might be really silly, so maybe they teach some of the tiny tots. And then maybe the teachers that have a little bit more experience out in the field, they might teach some of the older students. I think that for me, the teachers are just so like welcoming and they make dance such a fun experience. Our dance teachers here have lived and breathed uh, what our students are going through. So they can talk to them in a way that moms cannot. The teachers are just amazing at what they do. They make me want to be like them, so I push myself to try and do what they do. They push like us to like do our best and they don't ever let us like slack off. The expectations of the students are high. We um, you know we do expect a lot out of our students. It's not okay just to kind of, you know, get close. The students receive positive feedback, but they also receive areas of growth and improvement and development. It's done in a very positive way. What I've learned from being at Edmonds Towers is uh, responsibility. All the teachers are not babying you. They push us. They um, make us better. Yeah. They're all what we ask for. The one thing that's come out of our experience here is the commitment to each child as an individual. They're just really close with us and they really like get to know us. You definitely need to get to know your students in order to find out what they need as a dancer. Uh, whether they have the passion for after to continue as a career or to just do it as something that they enjoy. We also would like to teach them life lessons so that they can carry on this passion to their next step of their life. If they have a passion about anything, whether it be figure skating, hockey, or dance, they will carry it through to the next stage. The skills that they're learning here, the dedication, the discipline, 
you know, putting themselves out there. They're able to talk in front of people. They're evil. They're going to be able to go into interviews and get jobs. Be a team player to treat others with respect, to learn how to organize your time, to be dedicated to a goal and achieve those goals. So they can take away any of those things and apply it to a job or apply it to school. It's just what we like to do here. We're really setting them up for their entire future. We shine, we shine like stars. We shine, we shine like stars. We shine, we shine like stars. We shine, we shine. But here we go now. We shine, we shine. And it's just great when finally that day comes and their hair all gets slicked back in their bun and, uh, and they go and take the exam and they pass. The main thing I've learned here is to never give up and to always like believe in yourself and I think that helps with school and everything because um, some things may get tough and like you may be down on yourself and you just have to remember like think of times in dance when you were able to like get past that and teachers were able to help you. I've learned that it's not easy, you really have to work for it and you really have to work for what you do. But I love it in the end, so that's the thing that matters. It's been nice to watch her blossom and grow and become that individual. So there's so much more to dancing than just the technique and the tricks. It's so much more about the heart and there's so much more about the passion involved and it's something we really try to bring out of all of the students. To watch the evolution of these kids and the maturity and the growth is, is something that you just take in every day and count your blessings.